Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you two ways how to wash your car without a hose or pressure washer. Now, normally when you wash your car, what you'll want to do is you'll get uh, a bucket of soap and you, you splash all over your car, sud get all the suds all over the place. Or some people like to use a foam cannon, that's pretty fun too. But you can't really do that without a hose. Now you're going to find yourself without a hose if you live in an apartment building or a condo complex, something like that, or if it's in the winter and your water is shut off. The first way is with a waterless wash. I got this one from Chemical Guys. I use them because they have a store just a few minutes down the road. You can get any brand though. Try once. If you don't like it, try another one. It's pretty simple. So how you use this is you spray it pretty liberally on your car. Now you take your, your microfiber towel, fold it in fourths, and you start here. Roll it as you go, it's important to roll your hand. As you can see, we've got a lot of dirt on there. We don't want to reintroduce that into the paint. So I'm gonna go and slowly roll my hand as I go. And then I'm gonna flip to a clean side. Flipping to a clean side each side, each time, and if not, being very careful. So I've done this section here. You can tell there's some smears though, so now I'm gonna try to buff those out. Now I've got a little bit of dirt, so I'm gonna be careful not to reintroduce that back into the paint. Once I've done that, I'm gonna fold it inside out. So you can normally get about eight passes, or swipes, whatever you wanna call them. Now you're probably noticing now this is going to take a lot of towels if you want to do your whole car this way. So this method isn't really the best, it is convenient. This method is the best if you come out from work and you have bird poop on your hood or something, you got a mark, maybe some, someone kicked something up under your car while you were driving. You can just take these with you, a towel and a spray bottle, and just spray it down and get it real quick. So that's the first way. Now we're going to go on to show you the second way. Our second option is a rinseless wash. We first did, we already did our waterless wash, now we have our rinseless wash. It sounds kind of the same, but the difference is you do actually need water. However, this water does not need to come from a hose. You can get water from a bathtub or a kitchen sink or even a bathroom sink. So I've got this here, and it's important to, that, you, that you have one of these. Okay, this is called a grit guard. And what it does is, when you wash your wash mitt after your pass, the dirt will go down through these holes and it'll keep the dirt out from mixing with your solution so you're not throwing it back on top of your paint. These are called grit guards, dirt traps, whatever. You can find them online. You can probably even find them at Walmart or your auto store right now. But it's important to have one of those. Now for a regular wash, like I was talking about earlier with a foam cannon or a pressure washer or even just a two bucket method, you normally use two buckets. With a rinseless wash, a lot of people say you can just get away with using the one bucket. So we've got our, our wash mitt here. So we're going to throw it in our solution, get it nice and wet. Here we're going to wipe all of this off. You can see how dirty the, the car was. It sat out in the rain a few times and rain obviously does not clean your car for you. It's not a free car wash. So we're going to make sure we get all this clean and we're going to throw it back in and we're going to rub it against the dirt trap to get the dirt off of now, very important is we have to dry this as soon as we wash it. Otherwise, what we're doing is we'll, we'll take the dirt up, lift it up, move it around the vehicle, and just have it kind of dry back in if we're not careful. Or we'll get the water spots, and those will dry in too. So, we're going to do this again. Do this side. Even though we already did this with the water of this wash, I want to do a little more thorough. I see some spots here that I that somehow remain, so I'm going to go over this part again. If you finish your wash, you can pull out your water of this spray bottle. You, if you find any areas that need some more work, and that'll just be real quick and convenient. I also like to start at the top and work my way down. You can see in 
here all the dirt on these fibers. And so you want to avoid that, flip it over, flip your clean side. to be successful we have to make sure we can't do this when it's 90 degrees and the sun's blunt shining because otherwise the second your water touches if this is 100 degrees you don't really stand a chance so you either have to have cloud cover like we have today or you're gonna have to shoot for the mornings or the evenings so I'm gonna finish the car go all the way around and dry it as I go and you can follow along You can see already what a difference this is making. This side looks so much better than this dirty side. A few things to keep in mind. You may have noticed I'm just throwing this back onto my car. That's because I don't really have anywhere else to put it. It's ideal to avoid that if you have a little table or something to do that. But I'm just in a parking lot. I don't have anything, so I should be okay. We're just going to keep on going. Wiping this down. You also have to be careful when you're grabbing your wash mitt that you don't have water or solution to rinse this wash on your hands because then you're gonna fling it all over the car and you have to re-dry like I did just a few minutes ago. If you're, if you're an idiot like me and you crack your, your tail light, you just need to be careful around that area. So that's another reason why I wouldn't use a pressure washer on this. You could be, you'd definitely be fine doing the whole vehicle, but just always be cautious. Got some water spots that I missed. I must have been talking for too long earlier, so I'm gonna just get those with this one. I'm not too worried about hurting the paint because I already cleaned it, all the paint's off. I'm just trying to get rid of the watermark. So I'm just gonna do that, and that looks much better. So, in my opinion, the rinseless washes are great for just kind of your standard maintenance. You can always do a more a deeper clean with different kinds of soaps and uh, other things as well. And then when you do that, you'll notice that I didn't really worry about my, my gas cap door. And that's because this is just kind of a wash I do after it rains. I'm not really too worried about it. I'll do a, a bigger wash, maybe once a month or something, and then just kind of these maintenance washes in between. So now that we're done with this, the next step is our windows. Now I went over the windows with the rinseless wash and they're pretty good. So this part's kind of optional. If you don't want, if you don't want to do it, don't worry about it. Otherwise, we're gonna get a glass cleaner and we're gonna clean a few windows. I like to use the waterless wash for the door jams because it's a lot easier. You don't have to worry about the, the wash man getting stuff wet. You just do a few sprays in here, do a wipe across, get on this side, and we call it good. And you can tell you get a lot of dirt built up in there. So I'm gonna do all that real quick and then we'll get to the windows. Now when it comes time to cleaning the windows, it's important that you have a window cleaner and a microfiber towel. Don't use a paper towel or a kitchen towel or newspaper yes I have used all those things in a previous video you can check that out spoiler alert I don't recommend the newspaper or any of the other ones these are real cheap just get one and if you're washing your car anyways you'll probably have one and so I just have some window cleaning here uh, window cleaning solution I think this one is from the wires if I remember correctly uh, you may notice that I broke off the head of my spray bottle because I wasn't aware of my surroundings when I was moving my car Maybe I'll get a new one when I hit 10 subscribers. That's what I put on here. So if you ring that bell, you can get rid of the stupid spray bottle. Anyways, enough talking. So what I do is I just put some on the cloth and I just rub it in. Normally I like to use a waffle weave towel, but I guess I didn't bring it today. Let me flip to a dry side, so I'm just gonna flip it over and we're just gonna absorb all of that. 
and that looks a lot better. I do have some window spots. We'll get those off in a different video. And if you're finding that you still have marks, just check the inside too. It's kind of obvious, but uh, that's it for window cleaning. You can check out my other window cleaning videos if you want, if you want any more tips and tricks. If you have ever worried about the vac windows, the defrosting wires, how to do that safely, I have a video for that you can check out too. Uh, well, now once you get to this point, your paint should be clean, your window should be clean, the only thing you have left, left are your tires. And so we'll, we'll catch that in the next video.